Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Adam Phillips, and the machine is Graham Sandicott. We run Specialist Plant Southwest. We are a Mechalac excavator main dealer for Devon and Cornwall, and we also offer a range of contracting services. We're here in the forestry arena today. We're going to give you a bit of a demonstration of our AMCR in a number of different configurations and how we use it in forestry and other applications. Right now we've got the machine set up like a forwarder. It's a very compact machine. We've got our custom free hanging grab on the front. We have a custom designed by us and manufactured by us tow hitch on the machine. It's at the rear, independent from the blade, so if we're working in really steep terrain, we can still secure ourselves and have the blade acting like a brake for us. The trailer again was designed by us and we fabricated it ourselves specifically for working within the dense forestry environment that we would be extracting it with this machine. The Mechlac excavators are unique in that they have a, an independent hydraulic system. This is for, that allows us to track at the same time as operating the rest of the machine. This means when we're working in the woods, we can be moving the machine around between the trees whilst maintaining a constant speed on the tracks where necessary. It gives us incredibly high tractive effort and the ability to work on some very steep terrain where we've had trailer, uh, tractors struggling to pull this trailer loaded. Whereas the AMCR pull it straight up the hill. The unique geometry of the Mechalac boom allows it to work in very confined spaces. We have the ability to collect logs from pretty much at the side of the tracks and also then to be able to slew within a very tight radius. That same geometry provides a machine with exceptional lifting capacity, which works very well when working in the woods. Another 
unique feature of the Mechalike excavators is its offset arc. So you can see in the centre of the boom there we have a pivot. This allows the boom to be offset to the left or the right and it can mean the machine can work outside its own width. It's very useful if you want to trench over a barrier or against a wall or even sometimes you can use it to create different angles that may be required on, on your job. Again, the unique geometry of the Mechalac shows how close you can get to the machine without having any excess boom outside the width of the bucket. So again, working in very confined spaces. the machine. The independent hydraulics that allow us to track and run attachments at the same time means the machine works incredibly effectively with, with flail mowers. We have the, the ability with this machine to run 100 litres a minute but also track at 10 kilometres an hour. That's six and a half miles an hour. That's twice that of a standard excavator. And there's no reduction in flow when running the flail and tracking at the same time. This means it's an incredibly efficient machine for this application. Usually being able to work in ground conditions where maybe a tractor and hedge cutter might not actually be able to travel. Or working on slopes where it could be unsafe to put that type of machinery. move back to on the construction site now, adding to the versatility that is available from the machine and from a compactness point of view, it also works very well as a forklift. So it's reducing the number of machines that you actually have to bring to site. So instead of bringing a telehandler or a forklift, or maybe struggling along with a backhoe loader of forks, you can easily fit the pilot forks onto the mechanic. You have sufficient lift height to lift up onto the top of the scaffold, or maybe onto a building, and then of course 360 degrees of rotation, something that no other compact telehandler, skid steer or track loader could do. That unique offset also allows us to level the pallet if we're working on side slopes. So if you're travelling across a long slope, we can move angle the pallet to the side and maintain it in a level position. slightly too big for our flail to cope with. We have our TMK 300 cart and bolt tree shear. This has a, has a capacity of up to 300 millimetres depending on the wood that you're cutting. The benefit of the tree shear is once the, once the limb is cut, it maintains hold, enabling you to take it away and place it somewhere else. Maybe stockpiling a number of trees that you've cut and then leaving it in one place to be processed at a later date.
of you in an environment that's safe to use this type of equipment, say a farmer's field, we also have, we also have our single blade saw blade. This has a slightly larger cut capacity than the tree shear and allows us to very quickly and easily bring down overhangers and limbs when driving around the field. It has a very large reach, so whether we need to go high or far from the machine, and also to ensure we don't have anything falling close to the machine itself. in a construction or landscaping job, we have this tilt bucket. Using this along with the offset of the Mechalat boom, it allows us to create some really sharp angles when necessary. Our next attachment is something unique again to the Mechalat range of machines. It's our skid loader bucket. Now the AMCR is classed as a skid excavator. That's because it has the capability of acting like a skid steer loader or a compact track loader. This bucket is forward to the machine. It works very well for loading, loading trucks, grading material, stripping topsoil for example. When using the bucket, the blade is raised and the bucket has rollers that push against the blade, which means all of the force for the tracks is put through the frame and into the bucket, not through the arm. One of the big benefits of this configuration on the MCR versus a small loader or a telehandler is its 360 degree rotation. You can position the machine in one place and easily load a truck from that one place. You don't need to keep moving the machine back and forth, turning and taking up space and chewing up the ground. The lift height possible with this configuration also means you can typically load a truck from four or five feet below ground level. Using that integrated offset up in the arc, we can also create an angle by using this bucket. So if we're working on the forest road, we want to add a camber to maintain the water flow off the, off the road and keep it in a better state for a longer time. We can angle the bucket and create that camber easily and effectively whilst tracking the machine at the same time. If we were spreading out material, we look work almost like a small bulldozer. This machine has excellent pushing force and then it can spread the material very easily and quickly using that large bucket. We also do adapter plates for this machine, so if you wanted to pick up a standard skid steer attachment or even a 
something for a telehandler or a tractor, you can very easily make an adapter plate to, to allow you to pick up those sorts of attachments. attachments. So we're back in the forwarding configuration now, showing the lifting performance and the reach that this machine has, collecting these logs back up and loading our trailer. This trailer was designed, as I said, by us. It has the ability to extend, as well as the draw bar on the machine, which can be extended as well. It allows us to collect and carry lengths up to 24 feet. making this look quite easy. He's been doing this now with this type of machine for almost 10 years. It's a very unique configuration. There's no other machine like this working with a tow hitch, the forestry grab and a timber trailer in the country. This is unique to this area. At Specialist Plant Southwest, we actually run two of these machines. We have the 8MCR you can see here. We also have a 7MWR, which is the Mechalac wheeled excavator. The benefit of the wheeled excavator is it allows us to travel the machine between job sites. We don't need to get in a truck or a low load or any other type of transport. The big loader bucket we saw earlier allows us to carry all of our digger buckets with the machine so that we don't have to use a truck and trailer or any other um, smaller means of carrying our attachments. The wheel machine has the same benefits with the in, in, uh, independent hydraulic system as well. So if you're carrying out flailing work on roads or slightly uh, better terrain, then the wheel machine is just as effective. how compact we can go when using this, this configuration.
think it's time for Graham to put his skills to the test. If he's been doing this for long enough, we can put a bit of pressure on him and see if he can throw some of these off cuts into this bucket. I might have to move for this one, I think. I think he keeps making it harder for himself by going further away every time he tries this. What do we think, guys? We've got four now, I think. What do we reckon? We're going to make some noise. Do you reckon we can get it in? Oh, warming up. Thank you. 